Hello darlings! It is a beautifully rainy day here in Greater Seattle and we're gonna embark on a seafood tour. Right now I'm standing at Kirkland and over there is downtown Seattle. And that's where our journey will begin. So this first seafood spot we are checking out, it's in one of my favorite places in Seattle. Next door to the Melrose Market is Taylor Shellfish. They specialize in fresh tied-to-table shellfish and have multiple locations in Washington. I think this is my first time trying gooey duck. I've seen pictures of it time and time again though. So I'm told these taste the same, the stomach and the siphon. Just the texture is different. I'm trying the siphon first. Overall, it's a pretty soft texture with a bite. And this one's a stomach. The shape kind of looks like a booty. This time with the lemon. It's all really based on preference. The lemon adds another layer of flavor. Without the lemon, you really feel more of that ocean-y flavor. This time, some soy sauce. I personally prefer it with a little bit of lemon. Turns out, Taylor Shellfish is a family-owned company that began in 1890 with a legacy spanning five generations. So in twos, in this order, we've got your two sun seekers to start. Those are really meaty, really fresh in the start, and then they finish with like a little bit of brine. Then we've got the Virginicas here, Pacific Petites, and we've got our Shigokus here, Kumamoto's here, and then the Olympias, these little guys here. Those are my personal favorite. Oh. Is there a specific order you recommend? Usually we just say go in this order because it's just easiest. Just finish with these Olympias. Let's squeeze on some lemon, just a teeny bit. Oyster berries remind me of spring. Oh, I just even love the shells, barnacles. I just love looking at all those like lines. Kind of looks like pupils. Uh, we do have some mignonette sauce, but I was advised a little goes a long way, so don't put like too much on everything. If you just want to feel the oyster as is, don't put anything on there. 99.9% .9 of the time, they source oysters from their own farms. But once in a while, they will have guest oysters. I arrived here very, very hungry, and I'm still hungry, so we're gonna get the Brazilian stew. If you prefer your seafood cooked, they've got options. It's my first time hearing about this seafood stew, moqueca. Later, I learned that moqueca originates from both Brazil and Angola. This right here is rock fish. It was smooth just a few notches away from being melt in your mouth. In short, the stew was spicy. Other than that, tasted pleasantly mild overall. All right, we are here with Mommy O in one of my favorite places in Washington, Snohomish. <laughs> and we are gonna show you the downtown. Absolutely wonderful place. It's, it is changing, but they do have a lot of like vintage antique shops. This next seafood spot, Mamio has been here before, but it's my first time and I have been eyeing it for a long time. Andy's Fish House. They have indoor seating as well as outdoor seating, which is tented in colder months. Tomorrow, we're gonna get fish and chips. So I'm thinking, let's have some variety on this tour. We have options with the fish tacos. You could get it grilled, fried, or blackened. Mix and match your tacos for $7 each. This one is a grilled cod. And this is the blackened halibut. And the chipino. With the Dungeness crab melt, you can get your choice of a size, and we got the clam chowder. It's quite peppery, very likable. We've had chowders before, it was like way too salty, but this one's perfect amount of salt. It is more than perfect amount of salt. It's a salty for me. <laughs> This Dungeness crab milk, it comes on uh, English muffin. Wow! Wow! Oh, I just love those edges. It seems to be cheese. Mmm! That's a flavor like even kids would love because it's got that creamy feeling, right? What else was in it? The cheese is specifically Tillamook cheese. It has onions and peppers as well. The popcorn shrimp. It comes with tartar sauce. I was thinking it would be like very crunchy and a bit hard, but it's quite soft. It's like a plumpness, like a fluffiness when you bite into that shrimp. Definitely more interesting with that sauce. It comes with fries. And that red sauce is cocktail sauce. Taco time. Mommy wanted the grilled. I wanted the blackened. 
Alright, let's try Mamiyo's taco. With every preceding dish, it just gets better and better. Alright, let's try the blackened halibut taco. It's got avocado sauce. My taco is starting to make me cry. It's so spicy. I'm sweating. Yeah, I'm sweating too. If you have a low tolerance for spice, maybe not get the blackened one. You might want to get the grilled or the fried one. I think your taco is tastier. Whenever Mommy O sees Chapino on a menu, there's a 99% chance she's gonna get it. So here we are. Uh, all good? I'm very good. It's been a while we had crab like this. Yeah. Like in the shell. Crab. We've got scallop, mussels, uh, some clam. You know, it's Chapino. Let's try one of each. That was good. Oh, this is fish. I think it's cod. You think it's cod? Well, on the menu, it just says fish. It doesn't specify the type. <laughs> Slice the piece of scallop. Just had a spoonful of the soup, the sauce, and it's so tasty. This is two of the sauce, one of the best I ever had. It came with four slices of baguette, and the baguette it is very soft. I was thinking it might be tough on the outside, but it's so easy to break apart. You just dip it in that sauce, just let it all soak up that goodness. All right, all right. Here's our ranking of the dishes we tried at Andy's. For a digestive stroll, check out the Snohomish River Trail. I've seen people kayak and ride boats here. Today, the water is quiet. It's only February, but things are blooming already. Maybe it always bloomed that early in the year. But I just didn't notice until now. We were just walking around and I just noticed a cute little seat. Very DIY. <laughs> Today we are joined with Sydney. Hello. <laughs> Waterfall over here. Ooh, look at that. The Cajun lobster po' boy. Fish and chips, you can choose how many pieces you want. We got three. Four types of uh, sauces. Tartar, ketchup, sweet tartar, cocktail. All right, so when we're trying to hold that po' boy, those lobster pieces, they're just falling out. They're so cute and very pillowy. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> Fell back into the bun. I'm really drawn to that po' boy. I am as well. Let's do it. <gasps> Just the piece? Oh no. It's falling out. Ooh, spicy too. The Oops. <laughs> you have to have a little bit of balancing skill with this. I have not had lobster before. In general, you never had lobster? Mm -hmm. No way. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I love it. The lobster by itself. <laughs> do you want some lemon? No. Mm. No lemon. I love how delicate you are with that lemon. <laughs> I'm being very precise. One, two, three, four, five drops. Instead of being like, you're like counting it. Mm. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> I really like that lobster. That spiciness, it doesn't feel like super sharp. It's, it's like a, a cozy flavor. Yeah, cozy yeah, spice. It is. If all your lobster pops out and it starts to get lonely in there, you could pop in a fish and chip in the bun. Personally, I like having the lobster bits by itself because if you put in the bread, the bread dilutes the goodness. Would you like to try some of this uh, chowder? Sure. Oh, that looks like a pool. Like an infinity pool almost. <laughs> that is so creamy. Mm. I think there's bacon in this, right? Mm. Once you start running out of the lobster, you can dip it into clam chowder. Good idea. Right? Oh, did you finish your bun? I definitely did. <laughs> and on the top, they put, it looks like dried herbs. They have three types of chowder. Red chowder, white chowder, or Alaska smoked salmon chowder. That actually sounds good too. It does sound good. Yeah, let's dip some fries into that clam chowder. And of course, this is the cap and you could close the this kind of looks like a mushroom cap, like a shiitake it or does. something. Yeah. With the X. There are multiple Ivar's locations. 
I actually filmed at a different location a couple years back. This one is located in Kirkland and it's by the pier. So actually, if it's a nice day outside, it's not rainy, you could take it out and just eat by the water. Actually, look into that right now. Earlier today, it was hailing a lot. About an hour later, it hailed again. Maybe it was snow. Anyway, back to the fish and chips. Oh, <laughs> you gotta give us a biting shot. All right, are you ready? We gotta get some tartar Ooh, sauce up in here. Tartar sauce? 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 I can't talk. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have it plain the first bite. The end is very crunchy. Inside is fairly smooth. Not like butter smooth. Not like a sashimi smooth. Tastes like clean fish and chips. All right, what's your favorite thing we had here? I am torn between the soup and the po' boy because I've never had that before. So that was a fun new experience. But I love the soup, so at the end of the day, clam chowder. Yeah, yep. That was a, good, that was a legit clam chowder. And the chowder. bread bowl, that's amazing. Yeah. Yep. If you sit by the window, you get views of the water and some trees. All right, we're gonna show you across the street what it looks like from Ivers. Yellow light. It's Hooten Park. Or Houghton. Houghton. Or Houghton. 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 I like this playground! If I was a kid. It could be a pirate. That's Sparrow. I love about your childhood oh, yeah. dreams. It's a pirate ship. So this is the park. Me, I'm the park. <laughs> so you could bring your chowder here, sit on a bench under the tree, or you can go bring your chowder to the pier. Hope you enjoyed this seafood tour. More to come, so stay tuned. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Toodles, my noodles. When in downtown Snohomish, you gotta check out the vintage shops. Oh no. All right, so this antique shop lost their lease. We gotta visit it when they're still open. This street has been changing these past few years. Well, many places in the world has been. I'm reminded time and time again, enjoy what is here today the people, the places, everything. For tomorrow, they may not exist, at least not in the way they do today. Other times, it's you who's changed the most, altering your perception of everything. It's called a table butler. It's like a clamshell. So I learned they have to move out completely end of March. So most likely they'll actually close the space mid-March. So that's where we ate Taylor shellfish, and I went into this shop, Glasswing. Oh, the interior is so lovely. Picked up a card there. Next door at the Melrose Market, there are other dining options. So it's pretty quiet right now, but we filmed here before with Mamiyo Sankaku, and it looks like they expanded and they sell like snacks, Japanese snacks. It looks like. I think there were, used to be another store here, but not right now. I just love the architecture here. Is it Ivers or Ibars? I say Ivers, but I don't know if that's actually right or not now. <laughs> you know what? I really like how this tree is on this gridded wall. And if you look closely, there are mushrooms growing on it. But it looks like it'll dry it out. All right, we got some bread guts here. Bread guts. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you run out of clam chowder, we used to have bread. We got the salsas. We have leftover bread. I'm gonna wash off some of the clam chowder and give it to the chickens because I'm not sure if they can eat that clam chowder. So just to be safe. Hello, look what I have for you. For more outtakes and bonus footage from this video, check out the exclusive vlog number 12 on Patreon. It's 13 minutes long and also includes restaurant recommendations. There's also extended nature scenes and overall just additional clips from each featured location. The next video is a quiet vlog where I show you how I made this quilted coat. It took way longer to make than expected. For other artsy fartsy updates, check out my arts and crafts Instagram at Creative Chillout. My main Instagram is Miss Mina O, where I post food, travel, and life stuff on there.